you all know that you can fake your actions, that you can fake your thoughts, but you cannot fake your emotions. Emotions are always genuine. You can act all you want, that you want to be there, that you want to be with that person. You can think, you can force yourself to think that way. Yeah, it's better for me. It's good for me, this or that. But your body is telling you the, the truth. If you listen closely to how you're feeling, you will know the truth about anything from your perspective. The more I think about this, the more I think about how my life has been going so far, the more it seems to me that emotions are what really drives our external reality. The more it becomes evident that emotions are what drives our experiences, are what determines our experiences. There is a reason after all that your heart has a hundred times more electromagnetism than your brain because you attract from your heart you attract however you feel you attract you project your emotions into external experiences and that's how you create your own reality recently i've come across an amazing a very interesting quote or a couple of sentences I recently made a whole video about them, but I want to mention, I feel like I want to mention them here because it's very relevant. I don't have the quote on me now, but it basically explained, it's, by the way, it's, it, it's published by the Massachusetts Medical Society and it's a scientific journal article, it's written in a journal article, and so it is very much based on signs. And basically, it explained how anything could be subjective based on how you experienced that before that point, based on what you felt in your past. It was specifically directed at pain or addressing pain and how pain is relative depending on whether or not you've been emotionally impacted by pain in the past or emotionally, it used the word traumatized. If you've been emotionally traumatized by pain in the past, the next time you experience pain, it's going to be seem so much worse than it actually is. And it also spoke about how once we are emotionally impacted by anything, our brains create new synaptic networks, so new neural pathways that make us live in anticipation or in apprehension of that thing happening in our lives. And we live from the initiative of avoiding those pains or avoiding what had emotionally traumatized us or impacted us. And if that's not enough, even in the absence of any external stimuli, you would still be living based on what has emotionally traumatized you in the past on what has if something has emotionally impacted you in the, in the past in a negative way you would always live trying to avoid that thing trying to look for that thing and if we know anything we end up attracting those things if we know anything about how we create our reality about how spirituality is about how life is you know that you end up attracting those things and that's you, how you create based on your emotions. That's how you create the things you hate based on your emotions. And that becomes even more evident if you try it out. You know, there's no better way than trying it out. If you're working on something, if you're working towards something, you'll find that if you're feeling bad, not about it or anything, not just in general. So not specifically bad about that thing you're working on. You're just feeling bad. You would be feeling hopeless also towards whatever you're doing. You would not be seeing any way out. You would be feeling as if this is so boring. Why am I even doing this? This makes no sense. I don't want to be doing this. There's I don't know why am I doing this? Is this really my purpose? You're going to keep questioning whatever you're doing and doubting whatever you're doing. However, the moment you feel good about it, the moment you start feeling good in general, not about this thing you're doing, you're going to start really connecting with that thing. That's all emotions acting up here, by the way. You're really going to start be connected 
connected to it, you're gonna start seeing its potential. You're gonna start believing in it. You're gonna start putting in more effort. You're gonna start being more willing and more eager and more loving of that thing. That's because just your emotions, just one emotion from bad went to good, from feeling down went to feeling up, from feeling sad went to feeling joy. And now you all of a sudden have, you know, tapped in into, you know, ten folds of your potential, hundred times more of your potential of what you can do. You started believing in yourself. You started trusting the process because you felt good. You feel good. And that's what happens. Depending on how you feel, your day is dictated, your day is determined. If you're grumpy since the morning, you're gonna go out, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be hanging in by a thread, waiting for something to send you over the edge and get mad and get angry. You know, shout at anyone who cuts you in line and do this, expect the worst out of any experience. Go wait in line and get mad about waiting in a long queue, being in a long queue and then attracting more and more of those things. And then you'll find that everything is going bad. Once you have one bad thing happen in your day, it keeps pulling. You know, when it pour, when it rains, it pours. But it also works the other way around. It works towards the positive the same way. Once something good happens to you, it keeps happening. Because now you expect the good. You feel good about it. And you're expecting good. You're believing in yourself. Just, it's all about emotional shifts. And so, whatever you're trying to have results with, whatever you're trying to create in your life, you have to, before actually creating those results, before creating that breakthrough, you have to have been feeling good about that thing you are actually doing. As long as you're feeling bad, as long as I'm feeling down about anything, it's not working out. This simply became evident, very evident to me through observing my life and others around me, the lives of others around me very closely for very long now. As long as I'm feeling bad about something, it's not going to work out. The moment I start feeling good, give it a few days. Give it one day and it's showing you signs. It's, it's, it's starting to manifest. It's telling you you're doing something right. You're on the right path. Give it some more days and it happens and it breaks and you experience a breakthrough. You have a revelation. You experience a shift. You create a change in your external reality. You manifest that change externally because you aligned emotionally with it. The moment you connect emotionally to something, that even was something that I said in one of my previous videos. Your brain is going to catch on to it. You're going to catch the attention of your brain when you connect emotionally to anything that's new. If you're doing something different with your life, if you're invested in something new, and the moment you connect emotionally to it, your brain will catch up to whatever is happening. And if it's not something familiar, if it's not something out of your past, your brain will do everything it can to try and make you give up, to try and make you turn back around towards wherever you came from. And that's because your brain hates change. It loves familiarity. It loves the known. It hates the unknown. But also because it's coded, it knows. Your subconscious knows. It's coded in it. The moment you experience an emotional connection to something, your external reality reacts in regards to that thing. And so you are going to experience an external shift in your reality. Something is going to change externally. And that's why it tries to make you give up because you're, we forget, we tend to forget, but our subconscious has been keeping track, has been keeping pro record of all of our progress of every time our life, our external reality changed and how we felt and how we were before that internally. And it knows that when we are experiencing an internal shift, an external shift is about to happen. And that's why, you know, if you give up at this point, anything could be impactful. If you give up, if you start losing your momentum, if you start falling back to your habits, your coping mechanisms, if you start getting distracted by your old life, by, you know, it's going to come to you in many forms. I, you know, my 
that video was all about this if you're interested i'm gonna link it somewhere up here but it will be able to get through to you the moment you let go but that's why everyone tells you if you're about to to shift in to shift your reality if you're about to experience a shift in your external reality you're gonna feel as if you want to give up because what happens is that your brain catches on to that shift that's coming before you do and when it does because you're changing internally it can sense it, sh it catches on to it before you because it can sense your internal change it's aware of that internal change and it knows an external change always follows an internal change and that's why it tries to make you give up that's why you start feeling like giving up because it tries to force you back around it tries to cause you to turn back around to your old familiar version that you know was very stable and certain and knows everything because it doesn't know how that what image that external change is gonna take but if you maintain if you're able to overcome this stage of being forced to give up and being seduced to your old life you're gonna experience that shift in fact without you know letting go of the momentum because this is the determining point this is what determines are you moving forward for sure or are you gonna turn back around you're even and you created yourself if you don't feel if you find yourself turning back around doing one of your old things and habits and behaviors and letting go of what the momentum you're internally gonna shift right away because you're on the edge you're not there yet and if you turn back around at this point you turn all the way around so you experience those results once you're ready emotionally for them once you prepare yourself emotionally once you experience this internal shift once your heart is in that thing once you feel good about that thing once you are really excited about th that thing keep going at it this is gonna be your weakest point because that's where most people you know fail to keep going because the moment you feel good you're gonna start right after it feeling bad and negative and you're gonna your brain is gonna bring up all of the negativity and all of the bad things and all of the and that's where you get sick and fed up and you let it be altogether and you let it go of it altogether but experiencing an emotional shift an emotional connection to whatever you're doing guarantees you an, an external shift in your reality in regards to that aspect you emotionally connected to with that being said don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because it helps me so much and it helps this video find its way to many more others who might actually need it thank you so much for tuning in to another video by af's conscious frequency